at the Jimmy University of China. Mr. Liu, uh, tell us more about the clean energy investments uh, for developing countries that the AIIB uh, will help to navigate, will help to facilitate at its potential impact on recovering from the pandemic. As we know that the major purpose of the uh, AIB establishment is to help and support and stimulate the uh, developing countries in clean energy, one of the major touches. And as we know that for developing countries, the clean energy is the major and a significant challenge for these countries because of their lack of the high technology and the rich financing support. And AIB has made great attention and support to made up all this program in reality. That's why that the developing countries can use and with the help from AIB to develop their clean energy. Whereas we know that energy is always the major factor affecting the developing countries' economic recovery. So that's why the AIB has paid great attention and made great support to clean energy. The clean energy can make the country the, a better environment conditions to attract the more foreign investors. And also they can train many talented people in, the, in this regard. Also they can help all the other countries and the people that uh, to come together to join these uh, jobs that uh, help these uh, developing countries to further develop their the climate conditions. So in this way that all these conditions could be improved and this is the best best and the fundamentation for developing countries to further develop their recovery. Even during the pandemic outbreak, they have such difficulties. So that's why AIAB has made a great efforts and a great contribution. The bank's latest report says China is moving up along the global value chain. It's the chain that has sustained disruptions uh, for the duration of the pandemic. Is that your observation as well, that China is up on that chain? Uh, what does that mean for the world economy? We can see that the, the in value chain of the global market, China's position has been greatly improved and raised to a higher position. I think this tells the three points to the global market. One is that the global market has more confidence in China. And the second, it shows that the China's economy has really resilience. And the third, it gives the hope to the global economic recovery. For the first point, why the global market they have the confidence in China? Because the macro policy in China is proved to be right. It's compliant to the needs of the global market also as the needs of China. And secondly, the resilience of China's economic development shows that the China's economic structure, enterprise structure is also on the right track to make more efficiency. And the third, they gave the hope to the global market to show that China will continue its open up and the reform. This past will remain forever. So this is a great future for the global market. That's why we see that China's value, what is China's value? This is China's value, what China can make great contribution with China's way, with Chinese intelligence. So this is the best solution, also a best condition for the world economic recovery. Mm. Mr. Liu, we appreciate your expertise as always. Thank you.